Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV video. With patch 4.4 coming up, expect a lot of these little news videos to pop up, just because they're probably going to be getting posted to the Lodestone and the blog and places like that. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the UI updates that are coming in patch 4.4, currently scheduled for mid-September. Now, over on the English developer's blog, we have a translation of everything. I, was, I almost made a video with the Japanese version, but the English one came up in a, a pretty good amount of time today. So first of all, they're going to be changing the way the collectible items display in your inventory itself. Now, currently, as it says, if you want to see if something's collectible, you have to hover over it to see that little collectible symbol next to its name. They're changing it so that instead of displaying the number, as you can see right here with what a normal item actually looks like, collectibles will now instead display with this little collectible symbol in the bottom right. So you can identify them at a glance without having to go through that little extra hassle of actually hovering over them. Now, on top of that, you'll see that this inventory is making a return. This is an inventory that they've been talking about for quite some time. Uh, you'll be able to see your entire inventory once again. We're getting that feature back because it's a feature that we already had. And uh, on top of that, this is limited to Windows Direct X 11 and PlayStation 4 versions. So if you're currently playing the game on DX9, this will not be something that you are able to do. Now, on to the next list, uh, we have the minion and mount guides getting updates. You're going to be able to see tabs with new minions. You're going to be able to search for minions, set favorite minions. All sorts of things are going to be available here. So, first of all, this is something that they've mentioned in recent live letters. When you obtain a new minion, it's going to be marked in your minion log. So, you can see that they just obtained this minion right here. And at the top of the list, you can see there's a little glowy symbol to let you know, hey, this is the tab your new minion went to, which is something I definitely get a little bit annoyed about. So I'm actually kind of glad to have this. So there's a mark for that. On top of that, you can add to favorites. You can mark them with favorites, as you can see with this little star right here. And all I got to do is, in the case of uh, PC, right click and add to favorites. And then uh, you'll be able to just go to your favorites. So if you have ones that you like to rotate, which ones are on your hotbar or something like that, you just have minions that you don't want to put on your hotbar, but you want to be able to find them real quick. This is going to be uh, how you actually do that. Let's see. And a mark will be shown on the mount or minion so tab number to indicate the 10 newest mounts and minions you've obtained. So it's not even just the most recent one. It's the 10 newest mounts and minions that you've actually obtained. They're also adding a search feature so you can type in, uh, you know, you can type in the actual search and you can actually find the item that it is you're looking for. So in this case, they typed in Ananta and specifically you can... You don't have to just search the actual mount name. Like, for example, this mount is the Merid mount. Uh, they searched Ananta, and it will actually grab any sort of text that is available within the description or the actual name of the mount. So for this example, the word Ananta is present in both the Merid and the Blissful Kamui uh, mounts, or Kamui, or whatever it's pronounced. I don't know how. Uh, because it was available in the description of the mount itself. So that can help you find it if it's like got beast tribes or a specific primal or any of those things that you know as a, as a search parameter. On top of that, the emote list is going to be getting something similar to the mounts and minions list. It's going to get a history feature that will display the six recently most, uh, most recently used emotes. Goodness. The emote list will also have a favorite list. And uh, this information will be maintained even when you log out of the game. I wouldn't have even thought to ask that, so thank you for including it, Zexos, on the community team. So you can see just a few history, favorites, they like victory, lookout greetings, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so just a lot of little small quality of life things to those who make use of these features very frequently. You know, people who don't want it to take up hotbar space because, you know, they just don't want it to and they've got too many other things going on right there. So uh, keep in mind that this is the kind of information we'll probably see again during the letter from the producer live for patch 4.4. That's going to be taking place on August 31st at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the 14-hour broadcast is to celebrate five years of uh, Final Fantasy XIV. We'll also be getting the Rising event, which, of course, we'll be producing some content on as well. We'll definitely see, as they say right here, live gameplay of some of those UI-related updates, plus other stuff. But just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, be sure to hit, head to the comment section. Let me know what you think of the new UI updates to these, what would be considered minor features, but things that we do interact with quite frequently. On that note, though, I'm going to wrap up this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned, because with all the posts that are going to be popping up for Final Fantasy XIV over the next couple weeks, we'll probably have quite a few of these little news videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. <music>